All right, this problem's kind of funky, but I'm going to show you a nice step. I'm actually going to solve this by proving the rights like the left. It doesn't matter which way you do it, but either way. Um, yeah, that should be fine. So what I'm going to do is do 1 plus sine theta. Um, bottom here, I'm going to separate this out to cosecant theta, cosecant squared theta, and then just times cosine theta. I mean, I could say cosine theta times cosine theta times cosine theta. But I'll just do this. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to turn this into a property. So it's going to be 1 plus sine theta. Um, th this is actually equal to 1 minus sine squared theta, the cosecant. So this becomes 1 minus sine squared theta. I'll just write it for the heck of it. I just don't want to write too many steps. Um, so 1 plus sine theta. So what's going to happen is I can break this apart and it becomes 1 plus sine theta and then 1 minus sine theta, and then cosine theta. Um, so then we end up with uh, cosine theta. Actually, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave it. 1 minus sine theta. Th this is still the right side times the cosine theta. But what you can do is... Um, let me rewrite this. So this can also become 1 over 1 minus sine theta, and then the cosine is equal to 1 over the secant theta. And this is the same thing as writing 1 over 1 minus sine theta times secant theta over 1. Ah, this looks kind of familiar. And if you match this up with what's on the left side, it's exactly the same thing. So we just prove that these two are equal to each other. Alrighty, I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.